Hello everybody, my name is Andrei Dima and I am a travel photographer and today I will share with you my experience with the so-called Holy Trinity of Lenses, the cheap version, after using them for 4 years now, some of them maybe more. First, what is the Holy Trinity of Lenses? It is a set of free lenses that cover a focal length of let's say 15mm, which is a very wide focal, to 200mm, which is a telephoto focal. Having this much range, you can use them in all types of photography, landscape, travel, portraits, sports and events. And now I will tell you why I got the Tamron versions of these lenses and how they hold up in 2020. Let's start with the Tamron 15 to 30 mm f2.8, which is a great lens for landscape, architecture and astrophotography. At 15 mm, this lens is sharp corner to corner, starting from f2.8. Stopping it down to f8, it gets super sharp. I think at 15 mm, it is sharper than the more expensive Nikon version. This is why I've got this lens in the first place. Another great thing is the image stabilization, which the Nikon version doesn't have. This is a great feature to have for video. This lens is very well built. I'll make this short. Someone pushed me in one of my travels and I dropped the camera with the lens from around 1.6 meters and the only thing that broke was the lens hood, nothing else. This really impressed me. The downside of this lens is the 30mm focal length, which is not that sharp. But it is usable. This lens was built with the 15mm focal length in mind, which is the prime reason you will get a lens like this. Oh, and it is weather sealed. Now let's talk about the mid-range 24-70 f2.8. This is a great all-around lens and my favorite for when I travel from location to location or vacationing with my family. It is a great lens for street photography and portraits because it is the sharpest at 70mm. It has image stabilization and it is a lot cheaper than the Nikon version with not that much compromises. The problem with this lens is I had to try multiple versions before finding the best one. I think this lens had poor quality control, so it is sometimes harder to find a good one from the start. It is a well-built lens and it has weather sealing. Now let's talk about the telephoto, the 70-200 f2.8 G2. This is an optically great lens, I was never disappointed with it. Some people say it is not sharp at 200mm. Look at this photo and the 200% zoom in and make your own mind. The build quality is great and the look is so cool with the new generation of Tamron lenses. The autofocus is fast and silent and the image stabilization is one of the best I've seen in a telephoto lens. From my opinion, at this price point, this is the best 70-200 f2.8 you can buy. And of course, it is weather sealed. And I think it is a bit lighter than the Nikon version. And a lot cheaper. You should check this lens out. The only thing I don't like about this lens is the lens cap. It sometimes comes off too easily. Now let's take a look at some sample photos. I use these lenses in so many conditions and for so long and they are still in great condition. Oh, and they are great for time lapses as well. The Trinity of Lenses is a great and versatile combo and the Tamron version is not that expensive. And if you want more from your telephoto, get a teleconverter. You can use these lenses for all types of photography and the fact that they are all f2.8 makes them even more versatile. 
The downside of this trio is the weight and the size. But even the new mirrorless versions of these lenses are heavy. So if you are a DSLR user, I think this is the perfect combo of lenses even now in 2020. And they have a great price. The photos you've seen in this video were taken with my Nikon D850 and the Nikon D610. You can see my Nikon D850 2020 review over here. Tell me what you think about these lenses in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.